and hopefully I'll be flying high too. I'm going to go to the top of this ladder. It really will be weathering heights. Uh, the full forecast, if I make it, in a bit. We can return back now to Villa Park. That big game against Ajax, as Charlie's managed to get in as well this evening. So, uh, Charlie, what will <laughs> the conditions there be like? Well, it is going to be a wet and windy one, but uh, obviously not bad enough, I shouldn't think, to call off a match. Um, Andy, what is the worst weather you've ever, ever played in? Rock hard pitches, snow, ice. Mm. But the wind can play havoc, but tonight's a great night for football, Charlie. And, yeah, uh, but it hasn't started raining yet. <laughs> no, but the rain's fine. No problem. It? If it's red hot yeah. or rock hard pitches, okay. and of course the baseball ground of Derby County, the old days, the mud, everything that went. These, these are carpets these days. That's like a bowling green <laughs> out there. They've never had it so good, have they? Not at all. It's a vintage autumn this year, gorgeous colours on the trees, certainly here by uh, Tony Watson, Bruton Park looking gorgeous and reflected in the lake there near Solly Hull. Uh, vintage autumn just because of a certain recipe of temperatures that uh, at the moment means that more trees are coming out in colour at the same time, which is fairly unusual. So uh, there will be tomorrow, big headline, more sunshine, so you'll have another chance to get out and see it. Now, clearing skies we've got here this evening, that will continue tonight. It means cold temperatures well into single figures, three, four Celsius, a touch of ground frost with that we will be saved probably an air frost just because there's too much of a breeze. Now the breeze bringing in one or two sharp showers, otherwise a dry clear night. Now it is actually pouring down. I know you can't see the rain too well, but trust me, my hair did look nice, I promise you. Um, now some days out, don't let the weather put you off. Let's have a quick look at days out in beauty, first of all, just on the other side of the road here. Sun and showers that day that Bruce Smith took the picture. To the Malvern Hills yesterday, the Stevens family probably got soaked in that big bruiser that's just looming in the picture. Finally, the Cotswolds and the deer at Batsford Arboretum. Uh, if you want a day out tomorrow, do take the brolly because although these showers are going to clear for tomorrow, we'll see further showers uh, all the way through the day. Now, all the way through the day, the north of the squeak, squeak, squeak and growl. All the way through the day, the north of the region getting the heaviest of any showers, uh, but slightly brighter and slightly drier the further south you go. Now, Friday is the best on the horizon. There's a little ridge of high pressure that will ensure us mostly dry with bright spells. That's as good as it gets. Tomorrow morning, the Welsh border area seeing the first spits of a band of rain that the rest of us will see during the course of the afternoon. That rain steadily moving across to the east. And more important, the wind getting up as it does. Now, mean speeds here, you can see 25 miles per hour. That's going some, but individual gusts up to about 45 miles per hour at times, uh, more especially dangerous over the higher ground or uh, exposed high roads, so take it easy on the road. So we're uh, turning out wet and windy tomorrow afternoon. Now, after that, just don't look at it really. Sunday, not too bad, some uh, bright spells in between showers, but wet and windy forever, I think. Bye-bye. <laughs> Kapil Keurig at uh, 8 o'clock this morning, in fact, getting a gust of 85 miles per hour. The busiest time for us was between 1 and 2 o'clock. Now, the highest gust around the whole of the UK was reported uh, on the Isle of Wight, and Lake Vernwy is second in the whole of the UK. Hi, and yes, it was a surprise band of snow that we saw today, but at least two days of it extends the life of all the snowmen and time to make even more. Two-year-old Adam's snowman, I'm sure he re-enjoyed two Today. Now, the uh, system that we're seeing at the moment is a bit of a crawl, or it shouldn't even be here, but it's going to take until tomorrow afternoon to shift off, and then we're back to mild rain. Now, Charlie, come on in, look. Sorry, a girl's got to put a ski somewhere, and your snowman got it, sorry. Yeah, not much left of that, but you were really worried last night, didn't you? I was at 11 last night, it was 5 Celsius, plus 5 Celsius, uh, and raining in Cornwall. Oh. I was panicking, but it was all right, it snowed, let's have a look at it. It really did compare very nicely with the Alpine resorts today. It snowed over Europe, and uh, we're just as good as them, if not better. The Alps really need snow. They'd kill for our nearly four inches that we got in Malvern. So uh, all of that snow will be around tomorrow, but the snow is easing out now, and the next problem is going to rear its ugly, and that happens tonight as the temperatures drop. They're already dropping out here now. We're getting down as low as minus three, minus four. Ice on untreated roads and pavements also 
freezing fog patches. So all the makings again in the morning of another fairly hairy uh, journey to work. We've got some showers floating around out there at the moment, some real humdingers as well. Those will continue for the next few hours. And uh, through tonight, the middle of the night, a band of rain is going to be moving across the region. Uh, but uh, by morning, that should have drip dry to just cloud and some uh, outbreaks of rain here and there. As we go through the day tomorrow, I think one or two brighter spells coming along, but still those showers and still temperatures into the new look, lower 20s, uh, feeling a lot fresher and I think a lot better for it. Now, Ophelia is getting a little bit uh, tired, I think. Certainly she's getting tired of me. Isn't she gorgeous? Well, normally I bang on about global warming, uh, but I think we need to jazz it up, get with the time. So here we are. Shock, horror, snazzy headline. Keith's roadies are victims of the climate crunch. Now that uh, sunshine lasting as most of the day, there is a risk of a shower, but I think most places looking all right. Now, feeling cold. Temperatures today were about 14, 15, but 12 is your best tomorrow. With a breeze, it will feel quite parky. Okay, I think I need to do something to the umbrella. See you later.